Hi, welcome to um, Remus High Availability Screencast. Um, in this screencast, we will be presenting um, the high availability capabilities of Remus um, based on Zen Hypervisor. And the client application we will be testing is the streaming application. Uh, that represents um, an active memory state and when a fault occurs for a primary virtual machine running on a primary system and as it gets transferred to the secondary system uh, what we want to demonstrate is that the memory and CPU state gets replicated efficiently and uh, with minimum latency to continue the service now uh, which in this case would be the continuity of the streaming uh, video so just let's talk about the deployment configuration. Uh, on the left side, you see three windows with a blue background um, with the title of primary. The first window represents the virtual machines running on that system. Uh, second window is where we will be entering the commands to start and stop a Remus and uh, loading virtual machine images. And the third one shows um, that disk replication, which is going on in the background. We are using a DRBD block level device replication. And as you can see, um, there are two devices which are connected. Um, first is the root file system, and second is the swap. Since no virtual machine have been started on either of the system, both of, of the devices show secondary secondary state here. And once the VM runs on main system, whichever system is primary, that becomes the primary state on each device. So as the demonstration will continue uh, in the beginning this will be primary and then the secondary phase at the virtual machine get transferred then the device state for the secondary system will become primary here okay so let's start with our demonstration um, so first of all um, we would uh, load the image which we already have prepared uh, which runs the streaming server uh, using um, the xm restore uh, command lines um, as it loads, uh, you can see our uh, virtual machine shows up in the, the top window with a pause state, uh, which shows it starting up. Um, as it starts up, the state changes to B, which is blocked. Um, this is Zen terminology. And as you can see, the streaming servers begin uh, the streaming, and our client application is connected. So once we have that, uh, the disk replication is showing now prime, prime state here. Uh, we will go now and uh, shut down the, the primary system um, just to showcase that how it's going to work along. Okay, so now as we shut down the primary system, it has disappeared again from the um, ZM uh, virtual machine list. So let's start again. Uh, we will start the virtual machine again, and this time we will uh, launch uh, Remus in the background so that it gets replicated, the virtual machine state gets replicated to the secondary system. Okay, so as we start the VM, it shows up again in the virtual machine list. Um, as it starts up, the streaming video will begin to stream uh, from our client application. Um, the next step is to load the Remus client with 100 millisecond latency. Um, and as you can see, we shows provides the, the target system and where it's being replicated. In this case, our secondary system. As it gets being replicated, there's a VM uh, which comes up there with a pause state and stays in pause stays as long as the B shut down the primary system. So let's see to make sure Remus is checkpointing the memory and CPU state, which you can see here. Um, so we stop that. And now the next step would be shutting down the primary virtual machine and during this process the state of the virtual machine and secondary system will change to blocked while this transfer takes place the streaming server continues its application so with this um, as you can see um, remus is able to provide a highly available solution for a memory intensive app and cpu intensive um, applications um, scalability of that is uh, a different aspect and it will be discussed later. Thank you very much.